May is Mental Health Awareness Month and Intermountain Health, the sponsors of this next segment, are here to help us refocus on our mental well-being. Joining, uh, joining us now is Letitia Morgan with Intermountain Health. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. First off, you're wearing green. You gave me my green pin because green is the official color for Mental Health Awareness Month. Absolutely. Where do we start? Where do you, how, do you, how do you even start working on your mental health? Well, first you have to identify that you may be struggling with something or someone in your family or friends may say, hey, I've noticed something different about you lately. So doing a self-assessment is really key to assessing your mental health, just like you do with your physical health. Well, what, what are some signs? Maybe you lose interest in things you normally like. What are signs that someone is struggling? Absolutely. So you lose interest in things. You're not doing the things that you used to do. You've become withdrawn. Mm. Or you're finding yourself feeling anxious a lot more than often. And so you're like, wow, I need to do a self-assessment here. Things are changing. So being in tune with your body. You have to be aware of these signs that are happening within yourself and the friends as well. You and I were talking before the segment started about trauma. And people think, I haven't had experienced any trauma. We've all experienced trauma over the past three or four years. What is the trauma we've experienced and how do we deal with it? So first, the biggest one is the pandemic, but also we've the shootings that have occurred. Mm -hmm. When we're seeing these things happen, we subconsciously react to them. You know, we're more aware of where we're going. We're more aware of exits. And so you want to do a self-assessment. You want to check your breathing. A lot of times that's the first thing that seems to be affected. And it's like, oh, Maybe I am experiencing some trauma. People don't like to go in crowds now. Mm -hmm. And so just doing that self-assessment, saying, is something changing? Am I starting to sweat more? Am I getting hot mm -hmm. in these situations? We mentioned breathing. I think that is so key, breathing techniques. Are there some habits? I practice gratitude. I think that helps with mental health. Are there certain habits we can do to improve our mental health? Absolutely. So gratitude, journaling, mm -hmm. um, also mindfulness. So doing those breathing exercises and thinking about things that you're grateful for and setting the tone for your day, saying, hey, I'm going to have a positive day despite what happens and really striving for the positive. And looking okay. for that positive. Yes. What are some resources? Because someone says, okay, I do all that stuff, but it's not helping or I'm still struggling. What are some resources that you offer that people can turn to? So at Intermountain, you can always contact your primary care provider mm -hmm. and they will link you to a mental health professional. But if you're not um, with Intermountain, you can also dial 988 and they will link you to a professional that can help you with what you're struggling with. I got to wrap it up, but let's say someone's watching or maybe someone's here in the studio is struggling and they don't know what to do. What would your advice to them be? The first thing to do is ask someone. Mm -hmm. It may not be your provider. It could be your friend because that's the first step is saying, hey, I'm having an issue. And so just asking and reaching out for help. So that can be to a mental health professional. That can be to your primary care provider. That could be to your friend or someone in your family. I love it. Letitia, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you to Intermountain Health for sponsoring this segment. For more information, visit IntermountainNV.org. And let's send it over to you, Jillian.